Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that it took me so long to do this video, but I just had my hardest semester this year. And now that I'm done with second year, I am officially halfway through med school. But that's not the point today, because today we're gonna talk about something that you guys have been asking a lot, which is applying to med school as an international student. Honestly, I have been thinking about doing this video for a long time, but some of your questions are just really hard to answer. So I'll try my best here and we'll see how it goes. The most common question I'm getting is, is it hard for international students to get into a Canadian med school? This is a complicated question because I can't just tell you it's hard or it's easy because it really depends on the person, right? So I am going to break it down for you and let's look at this question from a few different aspects. When you are thinking about studying abroad, the first question you may want to ask yourself is where or what country do you want to go to? I study in Canada and I love it here, but there are many great med schools around the world that take international students. You may consider going to the US or the UK or Australia or the Caribbean med schools. You have a lot of options as an international student, so I highly suggest that you do some research on the different med schools. Take a close look at their websites, and the programs they're offering, and their admission requirements for international students. You may not believe this, but I feel like the research part is probably the most important and difficult part of the application because you may not have anyone around you that you can reference to or guide you through the process. As much as I want to help you with this, your best resource is always going to be the admission officers. They're the only ones with the most accurate information on whether your current school will prepare you for vet school, what tests you need to take, what courses you need to take, and what kind of documentation you need, and etc. So it really depends on the school you're applying to, the year you're applying, because obviously things can change from time to time. And it also depends on where you're from, whether or not English is your first language. What works for one person simply may not work for another. Therefore, the best advice that I can offer you is to talk to the admission officers, ask them questions, and don't be afraid to double check with them and to make sure you're always on the right track. Once you have decided which school you want to apply to, it would be time to make a plan. All many our schools have prerequisites, which are courses you have to take before going to vet school, and they will look at your grades on those courses. You don't have to take them in the same university, but you should have a plan to complete those prerequisites at the time you apply. If you are taking those prerequisites outside of Canada, you may need a foreign transcript evaluation to see if those courses meet the requirements of the particular med school. So even though you don't have to take the prerequisites in Canada, doing it in a Canadian university may just make the paperwork a bit easier on your end. Now, many people worry about their grades. Those are very legitimate concerns because grades do make up an important part of your evaluation. I don't have much information on the other schools, but here are some recent stats I found on ABC and OBC. From what I know, the academic requirements for international students are not higher than for Canadian students. If anything, it's probably more competitive for domestic students because of the limited seats and residency, but you guys something to know that. Just know that they are not expecting a higher GPA from international students. Other than prerequisites, you may also need to prepare for some standardized tests if they're required. If English is not your first language, you may need to take an English proficiency test like the ELS or TOEFL. I took the TOEFL test back in high school because 
I needed it to apply to a Canadian university. So I didn't have to take it again for applying to vet school. I just sent in the same transcript. So this is definitely something that you can prep early and just get it off your chest. From my experience, it's best to study for those standardized tests in the summer when you can have just a big chunk of time fully committed to studying for those. I remember spending a month or two just studying for the GRE and being able to get over it with just one try so I didn't have to waste too much time on it. I don't have many study tips for these tests. I just remember the official guides and practice questions being pretty helpful. But I'm sure there are a lot of YouTube videos out there to talk about these things. So now let's move on to talk about animal experience. If you have done just a little bit of research on med school applications, you would know that they want students to have veterinary or animal experience. Personally, I found it quite hard to get such experience in Canada just because I was studying full time during the school year and I go home, go back to China during summer vacations. So that leaves me almost no time to get work experience in Canada. But on the bright side, I could still get animal experience by working in my home country. Animals don't speak different languages. They use the universal body language. So those hours would still count in your application. However, if you're applying to a Canadian vet college, I do feel like it's better to at least get some clinical experience in here just to know the system better and know how things might work differently in Canada. I do have another video that covers all my veteran experience, so I won't elaborate on those in here. But if you're interested in how I got my animal experiences, just check out the other video. Okay, so we've talked about grades and animal experiences, and that's pretty much all the requirements for international students. But there's one more thing that we all care about as students, which is the tuition. I try to look this up. There are three English speaking vet colleges in Canada that take international students. And the tuition for the DBM program in any of those schools is at least $67,000 a year. I know that is a lot of money. So it's definitely something that you can't ignore when applying to vet school. Uh, I do believe that there are some options for international students to get help with money. You can apply for financial aid and scholarships. Many people have asked me about this, but I'm really sorry. I don't know too much about this, but there should be information on the school website. And again, the best way is to ask the admission office to find out if they can offer any help with your situation. There are also student loans offered by the bank, the Canadian banks. So you can apply for those once you're in here. Just make sure you shop around to get a good deal. Additionally, as international students, you will be allowed to work for up to 20 hours a week. You don't need a work permit for that. You just need your study permit. So I hope that makes you feel at least a little bit better about the cost because studying abroad is an expensive thing to do and you're paying very high tuition, you're away from home so you have to cover all those living expenses. It's not an easy choice to make. So I really hope that you think through the pros and cons when making this decision. All right, I know I talked a lot today. So let's take a minute to recap and answer the question, is it hard for international students to get into Canadian vet schools? Well, for international students, it could be harder to research for the different vet schools, but you have the same access to the admission office, just as the domestic students. So use the resource, email them, and let them guide you. That will make things much easier. And academic wise, it may be harder in that you may have to take an additional English test, but you definitely don't need a higher than normal GPA to get in. And in terms of getting local animal experience, it may be harder when you have other priorities in your life, 
but it's absolutely doable if you look hard enough for those opportunities. And finally, regarding the cost, it is no doubt going to be hard financially. I understand the school understands, the bank understands, but it is what it is. I know that the Caribbean vet schools tend to be a lot cheaper. Australian vet schools are slightly cheaper as well. So you may want to take those into consideration if cost is a concern. And in the end, what I want you to take away from this video is that applying to vet school as an international student is not that scary. It may seem overwhelming at the beginning, but you guys are young. Like some of you are really young and I'm really glad that you're thinking about this early on. But don't stress too much over it. Keep it casual. Make a long-term plan and don't be afraid to change it as you go along. I only started thinking about being a vet after I finished my freshman year in college and I had absolutely no scientific background in high school. I wasn't even a good student back then. So if I can do it, I believe that you can do it. So like always comment down below or shoot me a message on Instagram if you have a question or if you just want to share with me uh, where you're at. I had some amazing vet students from all over the world that reached out to me and I really appreciate your support. I feel like together we're fostering a positive environment for anyone interested in vet med and I love it. So thanks a lot for that. And that's it for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye!